Gadsden Arts 2021 Permanent Collection Exhibition Spotlight on Women Artists features artworks by eight women from the Permanent Collection. The first four artists we'll highlight here are all Black artists from the South. Both Ruby C. Williams and Mary T. Smith created artworks to adorn their locations, though with different purposes. For Williams, it began with the produce stand she set up on Highway 60 in Hillsborough County, Florida. She advertised her fruits and vegetables with brightly colored signs to draw in visitors who loved her use of vibrant colors, playful subjects, and creativity. Visitors were so intrigued by her signs, she eventually expanded her stand to include an art gallery. For Mary Tillman Smith, also known as Mary T., the artist began decorating her one-acre yard in Hazelhurst, Mississippi with a series of fences and structured covered in unique designs, patterns, and artworks. She created her own visual journal, combining art and text with meaning known only to her. Art historians suspect this text was playing into the town's treatment of her as an outcast due to her hearing and speech impediment, which made communication difficult. Our next two artists both found inspiration in their faith. Aline Harris depicts a baptism in a rural setting on a lake surrounded by moss-covered trees. The artist has lived in Gainesville, Florida her entire life, and many of her artworks are centered on her experience as an African-American woman in the South. Her works draw heavily from traditions, religion, and history, such as churches, farms, animals, and angels. Working in a different medium, sculpture, Tennessee-based artist Bessie Harvey, an artist born in Georgia, said of her art, I'm really not the artist, God is the artist in my work. In response to the challenges of her life, including the loss of her father at a young age, a mother struggling with alcoholism, an abusive husband, and raising 11 children, Harvey created these small creatures or dolls carved out of wood or found objects as a refuge. This spotlight on women artists also features artists Susanna Witten and Virginia Coltis, who are both artists and teachers. Georgia-based artist and instructor Susanna Witten specializes in watercolor portraits and is known for her informative workshops to share her skills. Her Haitian hat man exemplifies her ability to capture the personality of her subjects. Virginia, or Ginny Cultus, has lived in Havana, Florida for over 40 years and was a teacher who traveled with her husband across the globe to places like Ghana, Haiti, and Guatemala. For this sculpture, her subject is much closer to home, a sculptural facade of our museum. Given as a celebratory gift to the founding director of the museum, Zoe Galloway, on the occasion of her retirement in 2005, you can see the figure of Galloway walking down the sidewalk in front of the museum's historic Bell and Bates building. One of our first floor galleries is named for Galloway, while another is named for Sarah May Love, whose artwork is also featured. Love is one of the founding members of Gadsden Arts Center Museum, and her still life is part of our Gadsden Arts Organizational History Collection. And finally, we come to Beth Appleton. Beth Appleton is not only a powerful artist who creates intricate artworks inspired by her home here along the Gulf Coast of North Florida, but Appleton also started the very first art in Gadsden, which eventually led to the creation of Gadsden Arts. Her artwork, Back to the Garden, uses her trademark bold colors to create an inviting garden with a warm sun above. This beautiful piece also has significant personal meaning for the artist, as the imagery is full of symbolism tied to her time and friends here in Quincy. The exhibition also features other artworks inspired by her time here in Florida, such as Hurricane Charlie and Floridala to score. Learn more about these artists by seeing this exhibition at the museum on view throughout 2021, or learn more about the artists in our website, www.gadstonarts.org.